morning everybody we are back out here in Galveston uh, conditions are iffy this morning uh, it, it uh, was kind of nasty all around here but the right there you see that cloud it's a pretty nasty cloud I don't know if it threw any lightning but uh, it definitely looked like it had some electrical force in it so um, I don't know if these fish are gonna be shut down this morning or not so I'm just Hoping for the best. I'm gonna go along this uh, shoreline over here and throw some top waters. Hopefully, a, a red will get a top bite. Um, but if not, we're gonna have to go to deeper water because uh, those fish will still be biting. But it's not supposed to get too windy today. I think the high is supposed to get is like 10 miles an hour, which is like perfect. Um, got some waders behind us, so hopefully they don't. No, hopefully they know their etiquette and everything, but uh, I'll keep it updated. The next major is until like 11 o'clock, so I'm not really worried about majors as much as water movement and uh, sunlight right now. So I'll keep y'all tuned and uh, see you when I catch fish. Well, uh, chasing the redfish did not work this morning, but uh, there's a lot of blowups over here. So, uh, I'm just gonna throw the old trusty gulp and popping cork. Oh, I got something. A little red. Oh, yeah, just a little red. Caught him on the old gulp and oh man, you hooked yourself bad there, bud. Caught him on the uh, gulp shrimp and popping cork. Dude went through the eyeball. Holy shoot! Hopefully, you can still see. Let's get a look at him. He lets us. Nice little rat red. There he goes. What I'm actually targeting right now is flounder. I mean, there's gonna be reds in the mix, there's gonna be trout in the mix, but there's a lot of flounder along this reef that I always spook when I come in here. So I thought I'd try out before I came all the way in here and try to get a flounder or two off the popping cork. Just throwing along the shoreline and working it back. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a huge slick right there. So we're gonna start heading our way over there. Uh, maybe work the, the shoreline right here where the bait's being pulled up against the shoreline, maybe a popping cork, but our main goal right now is go for that slick. And then there's a deeper channel right there that goes out, so we'll go to that later. But right now that's the main focus. I think we got a pretty good redfish on. Oh yeah. Oh no. Is that a sheep head? Black drum. Little black drum. Alright guys, there he is. Black drum. The recent one. So what's going on right now is I'm fishing in this reef and there's actually like no reef in the middle so it's kind of a place where fish can congregate so uh i'll keep it updated but the old popping cork and gulp is working for us i think i have a flounder on oh no yep flounder there you go flounder Oh yeah, be of size, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, big old flounder, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling y'all, man, this popping cork. It don't miss. He didn't even fight, it just got heavy. 
And then I look, I, I, I knew something was on it though because it, like I said, it just felt heavy. Um, but I knew there had to be some good sized flounder over here somewhere. So I think it's hook out of Oh yeah, it's a nice 19, 18 inch flounder. Got another one already. Be a flounder, baby, be a flounder. Be a flounder. Nope, that is a good old redfish. Little guy. <clears throat> storm coming through uh at some point i'm gonna have to convince myself that i need to go in uh but not right now i know i have the biggest freaking crab on right now oh <laughs> we got live bait though oh gosh this dude's got some pinchers on him, man. Hold on. This is a two-handed task. We got live bait, baby. All right, first pincher. I need to start carrying regular pliers with me. Ooh. That's pissed me off though because I just put that freaking lure on. Aha! What now, boy? sure this is but it's gonna be the last fish till this rain blows over or whatever it is ah it feels like a ah it's a flounder I can tell oh nope oh I want you to look at that at the gaff top dang it so I just made a, a battery swap uh but dude the gold bite right now is on fire and it's been on fire like it's been non-stop for me so i probably caught about five more reds and i caught two really big uh black drum uh over slot but it, it hurts because uh this storm that i thought was going to hit us it, it never like i've got a couple of sprinkles and that was it um but i gotta get this there's a red actually on my cork right now i need to get him off uh but I just thought I'd update y'all because I've been, I haven't been filming for about, I haven't been filming for about, uh, oh, let's say, I want to say like probably an hour and, and a half maybe. And the bite has just been crazy. And I, at this point I'm like, whatever, I'm waiting for the rain to come to put up the camera again. But look at this guy. See how big he is. About 16 inches. Is there seriously something biting my get him released though? 
Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. There we go. So, it's been dead for about an hour and a half now. Um, still just working this race with the goat. But it's getting hot, so there's probably stopping the bite. I think what caused them to bite so much earlier really is all that freaking storm and stuff that's going through, like I said in previous videos. Um, the barometric pressure drops during storms. It drops and rises. It's constantly moving. As long as your barometric pressure is constantly moving, you're in good shape. But uh, I think that's what triggered the really big bite when that storm came through. So right now we're just grinding for a bite, but uh, hopefully we can get something pretty soon. So yeah, guys, that's it. We absolutely killed it today. Um, unfortunately, due to the rain or what I thought was rain, it really was just a light miss uh, periodically enough to where I had to put up my camera a few times. Uh, we didn't get most of it on film, but I still got a lot on film, so y'all got to see. Uh, main thing right now, man, I've already said it before, oyster, 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 reef, reef, reef. If you can get around reefs, you're going to find the fish. Um, still, today I lucked out because it was overcast most of the days, but I'm still going out super early and planning on being done by 11.30 or 12.00. Uh, once that sun comes out, it's going to absolutely shut down the bite. <clears throat> Unless you can get somewhere that's deep, uh, you're probably not going to be able to find too much fish. And if you do find them, they're probably not going to be biting. So um, thank you all for watching again. Uh, we do have a um, giveaway coming up. It is going to be the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And it is some really good stuff, guys. And um, I know it's kind of a, uh, you know, a big leap. Uh, I should be doing one at 500, but... The stuff that I got is so good that I, I know we can get to a thousand really quick. Um, so I need y'all to do me a favor and share this and like and comment so that we can blow this page up. Go ahead and comment. Tell me, you know, tell me what's going on. Tell me some stuff that you think I'm doing wrong that I can uh, be more successful at. Uh, anything. Uh, I love. What is it called? Um, criticism. What is it called? Um, whatever. Brain fork. But I like uh, knowing what I'm doing wrong and how I can fix it. So if y'all find something that I'm doing wrong, go ahead and let me know so I can be more successful out there. And until next time, guys, peace.